How's it going, everybody? Dear Curtin Bach here in the East Bay. Let's talk about what just happened in Orlando, Florida. Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today, but here we are. Warriors lose to the Orlando Magic, 103-96, to and the Warriors have now lost four of their last six games. we got to talk about this one. Three big things from the loss. Number one, when you don't have Kevin Durant, it's kind of noticeable. The Warriors really needed a guy like Kevin Durant tonight, a guy who can get his own shot, knock down shots in the face of one or two or three defenders, just a shot maker. And Kevin Durant is arguably the greatest shot maker in the history of the NBA. He took the night off for rest. Second day of a back-to-back. -back. Warriors lose in Miami on Wednesday night. He's played every game this season. Good night for Kevin Durant to take the night off, right? Well, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson really couldn't carry the load. Don't want to hold it too hard against them. Ultimately, they were getting good looks, and the Warriors were in position to win this game. But combined, those two go 8 of 29 from beyond the arc. That is just not going to get the job done. The Warriors shoot 22% from beyond the arc in the game. Orlando's not very good, but man, they can even beat that, and they proved it. Nevertheless, the Warriors had a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter, and then their legs betrayed them. Shots weren't falling, defense wasn't rotating. Orlando took full advantage of a tired Warriors team that started the game off a little bit apathetic, comes back to bite them in the end as their legs aren't there. Warriors, again, lose four of the last six. The number one seed slipping away in real time. Second note from this game, and this is something that I think was a bit of a microcosm of the game in general, because the Warriors, again, had a 25-7 run in the third quarter. Had a, They won the third quarter 30-11. The game should have been put away, but again, the legs failed, and the biggest legs that failed were DeMarcus Cousins's. He was actually pretty darn good in this game. The defense was a little bit better, and the offense, you're seeing the progress day in and day out. Another strong offensive game for DeMarcus Cousins. He goes for 21 and 11 in this contest. But in the fourth quarter, man, his legs were just not there. And the Warriors, again, needed him to be there with Kevin Durant out. It was a great matchup for him for most of the night, but he still has not gotten over that conditioning hill. I don't know if Steve Kerr was trying to prove a point or the Warriors were just shorthanded, but it was kind of rough to watch down the stretch. Someone who wasn't rough to watch in this game. This is the third thing. Let's talk about Jordan Bell again, because he's been really good as of late. Only 13 minutes tonight, but man, did he make those minutes count. Three of three from the floor, six points, eight rebounds in 13 minutes. Energy plays, the stuff that really helps a team win. He was an impact player in this contest, and ultimately, you got to give the guy credit. He was a bit wild, pump, biting on every pump fake, just couldn't get a rhythm. He has embraced simple basketball. It is not flashy. All he's doing is taking his elite athleticism, and Jordan Bell absolutely has that, and channeling it into energy effort plays. Not trying to do too much. Taking on a little bit of a Draymond role on offense. Just pass the ball, go set a screen. You're not out there to shoot it. And on defense, yes, there's some refinement that can happen, but when you have a guy who can get all around the court the way Jordan Bell can, protect at the rim and on the perimeter, that's good news. And the Warriors coaching staff is clearly starting to trust Bell just a bit more. And that could be huge come playoff time. Really excited by what I'm seeing out of Jordan Bell as of late. And I know that the Warriors are too. Ultimately, though, the Warriors are not in a great spot right now. And they're going to go to Philadelphia. And they're going to play the 76ers. We don't know if Joel Embiid, the Sixers star center, will play in that contest. Hopefully he does, because it's always awesome to watch Joel Embiid play basketball. Kevin Durant should be back for that one. Not expecting anyone else to rest. It's a big one. It's perhaps an NBA Finals preview. We'll have to see about that. Uh, certainly you don't want to start extrapolating out into the NBA Finals with the Warriors as they're playing right now. Philadelphia hasn't earned it much either. But it should be a fun game, an interesting game, and we're going to talk right after that one. See you soon.